Today we're going to look at a masking technique using Relight AI to fix those photos that aren't exactly perfect. So for context, this image was uh, prior to a shoot I did uh, quite a while ago and I was looking for, you know, good lighting situations, where to place the model and what kind of lighting worked best. And this was one of those uh, offshoot pictures where it didn't work too well. Obviously you see that lighting is uneven. Uh, we ended up backlighting the subject, but I quite liked the image and I thought that I can recover some of the shadow details within Luminar Neo. So two main things we have to watch with this photo and the obvious one is the underexposure here along the face and for most of the body here. And then we have the lighting here that's uh, along the arm, this part of the body and slightly overexposed on the hand here. So we need to pay attention to those. And the first thing I want to address is the underexposure on the body and the face. Now what we're going to do is go into the creative section here and find Relight AI. I'm going to bring brightness near all the way up and see that it starts to even out that underexposure, which is great. But the problem is it's making the already bright areas too bright. So this is where I would apply a mask. Now before I apply the mask, I'm just going to play around with the depth here and make the, the back a little bit brighter and the brightness far, we can do that as well. Let's do a quick before and after. You see what a difference that makes already. So this icon here is to add a mask. And for this particular photo, instead of adding the mask, we're gonna take away from the mask, take away these bright highlights. And to do that, we're gonna click on erase. And I encourage you to bring the strength down to about 50 or so, maybe even 40, it's up to you. We're going to zoom in here and just brush away the mask here until we get sort of an even exposure here. Now it's not going to be exactly even. I mean, you could really work this in slowly, but you see already how much more balanced this photo looks. So if we do a before and after the relight, you see that already the face and this portion of the body is a lot more even. Now the highlights here are still a bit strong, so we're going to completely remove the mask from these problem areas here. The hands are just a bit bright. We got a bit of a line here, so we want to continue to bring that mask in. So we're going to get out of Relight AI. If I wanted to even this more, I could get out of Relight AI, go back into AI, and you'll notice that it resets. I could further brighten this up even more so to really balance it out. As you notice, it's quite a bit bright here. We'll do it just a little more to even it out. Now, in case you want to go back, just know that you can go back into the edits tab here and go back to anything that you have changed to tweak it afterwards. So I really like how this edit feature works. Additionally, what I could do is go into the portrait section here under face and utilize the face light function. So if we bring this all the way up, you're going to see the face brighten up. Now that's a bit too bright. So we could bring it up just a little bit, maybe to there, about 40, just to brighten up the face a little bit more. Now, as we do before and after, you see that it's more balanced and it looks fairly natural. To address the highlights here on the hand, we can simply go back into the develop tool here, grab the highlight slider and bring it all the way down. And now you're going to see the mask option come up as well. So instead of decreasing the highlights on the whole picture, we're going to use the mask just to add where we want the highlights to be decreased. In this case, it's going to be around this hand area. So again, we'll leave our strength at about 49 or 50, and we're going to come over the hand here, and you're going to see when we apply the mask, it's red. So we do a quick before and after. You see before, it's quite bright. Here it's decreased quite a bit. 
So as we take one final look at the before and after, you see this technique has made all the difference in the world to recover the shadows in this photo and practically save a photo that wasn't exactly lit properly and positioned properly. Obviously, I would do more to the picture, you know, play around with the portrait features get the eyes to pop and things like that but I just wanted to show you quickly this simple technique for those of you that you know are just having fun editing and learning as you go. If you haven't already checked out this video on Luminar Neo's portrait editor features be sure to check it out and of course stay tuned as I have more Luminar Neo content coming up soon. For now take care my friends until the next video I'll see you when I see you.